G H O S T. I wonder what that spells out. Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon in the last episode. We did the worst mission in the entire game, followed by actually a pretty good bonus mission. And in this episode, we're going to move on to T, the treacherous mansion. This massive mansion is filled with exotic exhibits created by its late globe-trotting owner. Oh, and it also contains the strongest paranormal signals ever recorded. And now we're going to go find the front door key. The paranormal activity in this mansion is completely off the charts. Stay on your toes and start looking for the dark moon piece. That really isn't a description of the m mission. That sounds like a description of the mansion. <laughs> Luigi, the final dark moon piece appears to be located here in the treacherous mansion. But I'm reading the highest levels of paranormal activity ever recorded in the history of forever. No paranormal researcher would wor then no paranormal researcher worth their salt would go near the place. Yep, going there is an absolutely terrible idea. For me, <laughs> you on the other hand, well, you don't really have a choice. You're the only one who can recover the dark moon piece. And don't despair, son. Look on the bright side. You, um, you, uh, you have a very bushy mustache. Yeah. Take this really long key. Sorry, I'm not good at pep talks. Anywho, this here is the front door key for the treacherous mansion. I'll, I'll make getting there into the mansion a whole lot easier, so, you, so don't go losing it. I tried to pinpoint the dark moon piece, but there's just too much paranormal interference in there. You have to look for it the old-fashioned way. Good luck, youngster. Gonna need it. Luigi's name is officially youngster now. I don't care what you say. It'd be a good idea to build a mansion here. Who would do that? Who decided, hey, Bobby, why don't we go build a mansion on the edge of a fucking waterfall? Yeah, that'd be great, Bobby. Oh, would you look at that? For some reason, as a kid, I was terrified of this section. I don't know why. It just terrified me. Just the fact of Luigi falling into nothingness and ugh, just terrified me. I don't know why. And anyway, now that we're finally out of the hellscape that is the... Uh oh, oh. I shouldn't have said hell. Ooh, he just tried to bring me down the hell. Ooh. Anyway. If you flash those, you know, with Luigi's tight butt cheeks, if you flash them, you, uh, you get some money. Even though we really don't need it, but good to show it off. Anyway. Some more up here. Some more right there, and let's go on inside. <laughs> Why the fuck did the key sh shrink in size? <laughs> Bad doggy. <laughs> oh, thanks, Bolter Pup. <laughs> anyway, if you look through here, Uh-oh. 
Anything else to look at? Nope. Speaking of which, because I hear him huff, because uh, I hear the good boy huffing and puffing over there. So what's over here? Ah, yes. Nothing. Except this. Yeah, so I wonder where that little polter pup is. Um, hmm, yeah. Yeah, no, we're not gonna talk about that. Um, I wonder who that could be. Ooh, so scary. I wonder who, I wonder who it could be. Ooh, I am in such suspense, RN. Such suspense. I, I just have no idea what it could be. Just don't know. Anyway, like that one secret in the gloomy manor, you can, oh, it doesn't just leave the money, okay. Give me more. I need more. Right there, we have ourselves a delightful and delicious gold greenie. No money left behind. There we go. Come back over here. And let's follow that darn mutt. Oh, yeah. Suck up these balls, or spirit balls, I guess. And follow that darn mutt down there. <laughs> bottom of the well. Huh. That's weird. Thought it'd be as scary as the bottom of the well of Majora's Mask. God, that thing was traumatizing. Anyway. Your game was traumatizing. I mean, nowadays it really isn't, especially since I've been playing the 3DS remake, but like, if you were a young kid and you played Majora's Mask, I feel sorry for you. I mean, the game's good, don't get me wrong, but I absolutely love Majora's Mask, but like, that's like traumatized some children. Like, some moms are probably like, why the fuck is my child having nightmares about a mask? Oh my god! Oh, well now you have to die, cause I just got hit by a greenie. Little Goomba enemies. No. Oh. Oh, he had 69 health for a second. That was epic funny lol. Anyway, I'm mean, all that. Get away. Get out of my way. Looky, looky. Hey, a good boy. Anyway, obviously, if you want to know where you're going, just use a dark light device. But, I mean, it's pretty obvious where to go. Because you, you you can also just look on your map, so, I mean. Anyway, right here. Tighten this up. And let go of it. That comes down. That could be a problem. Really isn't. Just do that. And you're done. Ow. That hurt me for some reason. Okay. Um. Wait. Is there something? Do you like a... Looks like there's like a hidden passageway or something. Maybe I'm crazy. Anyway. I'm not mistaken. Give me that! Let's just money bumpkins. Uh, is there anything invisible? Sure? What are these? Oh, ha ha! Oh, never mind. Feeling smart. <laughs> oh no. I don't need the money, but I mean, I want it. Damn. I won't be getting the money. Ah, the money! Yes. 
Heck yes. <laughs> Stuff I don't need. Wahoo. I actually do wish money would have more value in this game. Although, I mean, I'm kind of fine with it. it. I mean, it's really satisfying to collect. I mean, like, come on. And we have this gorgeous carpet in here. I wonder what that can mean. Let me light all those. These are knights in shining armor, at least that's what I like to call them. I believe their name is just knights, or I guess strong greenies. <laughs> oh boy, the king is waking up. The king of the moor. Anyway, all you gotta do is just lure them over to the carpet, and then bada bing, bada boom, you're done. <laughs> that totally will not be the boss fight of this mansion. No, totally not. They would never do that. That's called sarcasm. Anyway. Over here. You get tons of more money! I, I think I've been close to showing off almost every single money location. Um, if there's stuff that I missed, tell me in the comments and I might put it in a bonus episode if it's like... Like, if it's really hidden, then I'll put it in a bonus episode. But if it's not, then what in the world? Oh. I what that beeping was. Anyway. Obviously... Flash that, get some money, it's all fine, and uh, if you try to go the wrong way, yeah, Luigi just gets yeeted across town. You can use these paw prints to find the dog, but what if we didn't? Okay, how about what if we did? Found the gold bone! And Kermit the Frog is back there. What? Wait, what did I? I guess I got it? That makes no sense, because if Luigi gets thrown back, then... I don't know. Anyway, he went this way. Um, I'm trying to find where it is. Alright, here we go. Oh shit, no! Okay. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay, hold up. There's a place somewhere in here. Let me find a knight. I'll, I'll cut ahead. Wait a second. Am I just stupid? How do you step through the door? Oh. If you really didn't know what that was referencing, that was re referencing the almost 100-year-old film Frankenstein. Universal made. Pretty good film, actually. Anyway, give me... Oh, come on, can I suck harder, please? <laughs> now, if I'm not mistaken, because I'm pretty sure I was just stupid, um... <laughs> Pretty sure there's another thing of those things. And anyway, what you want to do, so you want to... Max power! That might have been a bit too much. Oh, the soul of Frankenstein. Orf, orf! Better run from Bulldog! Well, guess what? I guess if you're a Bulldog, I guess I'm gonna charge you! Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> you see, the joke there, gamers, is that he's a bull, and bulls charge. You see, that's the joke. Ha ha ha. <laughs> anyway. 
Oh, I, th I thought that it was going to require like a third one. Anyway, oh, you saw what that knight's helmet that I launched it at that glass over there? Yeah, that glass had like a gem. Yeah, basically what I did to get that gem up there is that I, I, I well, I accidentally stuck this up, but you'll see that you can hit those. Uh, I said you'll see that you can hit those. Fine then, I guess you can't hit those. Never mind, I'm a complete liar. Anyway, but uh, that first gem tells me that, yeah, we're doing good. I SAID YOU CAN HIT THOSE! There we go. See, look, I'm not a liar. <laughs> anyway. Ah! I'm just stupid. <laughs> See, these knights will point the way. And you want to keep following them. And you're going to want to remember that. And so he's pointing over here. You're like, wait, where's the next knight? Well, if you use your dark light device over here. I'm sitting right there, pointing right over here to this. You might be wondering, what the fuck do I use this for? Well, sir, let me tell you what. Take this back. You remember that spider web we saw? Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, you basically just want to come back over to here. And, bob boom. There you go. There's your little Gemmaroonian cheese. Now, if you want to get back to the Polter Pup and start tracking him again, let's do that, because that'd be faster. So he went down here. And he went over here. And he went over here. I didn't see that door for a second. Hang on a second. Hold up. My spidey senses are tingling. I don't think that was all the gems, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty sure there's another one. Oh, I mean, you got money right there. Uh, do these catacombs not, like, kick you out or something? Or... I'm just gonna search through these, uh, or through this thoroughly, because I'm pretty sure, like, pretty confident there's, like, another gem in here. So, I'm just gonna keep doing this and checking every area. Aha! Right over here! And... Bada boom! Get that. Like the like the memory of that gem just now came to me. Oh. Anyway, coming over here. At least we got one of them. Wait, no wait, no, yes! We almost lost the dollar bill. Get a whole lot of more money. And now we may get back to what we were doing. Which is coming over here. Uh, these are strong hiders. I don't know if we've seen one yet, but here's one if we haven't. Frick, I didn't get any money out of him. It's like a kid... It's like a bully who's like, dang it, I didn't get any money out of him. If you want to, you can just ignore the ghosts. Like, that is a thing you can do. You really don't have to get them. <laughs> and, <laughs> dumbass painting. You know some, like, employee at Nintendo, like, drew that and thought that it was so funny that he just had to put it in the game. Also, this guy's just been playing checkers alone all day. Anyway, that goes boomy. And then we shall uncover. Oh, look, the plant! I, mean, I, don't, I, I don't think we've seen those plants since the good old days of the gloomy manor, I tell you what. Anyway, if you pull on this chain... Mm-hmm. 
and you can get that from the wall. Then, don't want to have another one in here. But there should be a bucket around here somewhere. Oh, right here. Jesus, I'm just stupid. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna take this bucket through here. And get that. See, you might get yourself some more money. Now, check this thing. And nab this pooch for the last time. Come in here, you circle little shit! And the pooch has been nabbed. I repeat, we have nabbed the pooch. And we got the key that used to be comically large, but shrunk in size. The moment it entered Luigi's pants. Luigi's penis can somehow make things shrink in size. Is he guys gonna call? Be good. Thank you. Right on cue. Bravo, Luigi! Someone needs to put a leash on that blasted pooch! You're pretty far from the mansion's entrance now. It'll be faster for me to bring you back here and then send you to the entrance. Hold on. Boom, and boom, and uh, two star rank. Remember that long streak of just triple star rank we got? Yeah, those were the glory days. Youngster, nice work hunting down that front door key. That dog really took you for a walk. Ho oh. ho! You gem collected. You gem collected. You gem collected. You go. Fuck you! We killed that motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> New ghost collected. Vector mass updated. New boot collected. Treasure earned. One thousand eight hundred fifty-five. Now, you spooky mutt! I made some adjustment to the capture mechanism so he couldn't escape this time. Although, you didn't encounter as many ghosts as I thought you would. However, that was just the basement of the treacherous mansion. Who knows what the rest of the place has in store for you? The mansion looks a lot creepier than the last time I saw it. I wonder who's been redecorating. Anywho, I'll adjust the pixel later to send you to the mansion's entrance. In the meantime, why don't you do some training in the scare scraper? You'll need to keep your skills shut to make it through the treacherous mansion. Yeah, we're saving that for the bonus episode again. What if I just hang here for like ever? <laughs> anyway! And we got Zebu. Before we end off though and get ourselves into some double trouble, let's uh, let's head over to Egad's Vault, because I believe last episode, I we didn't even look at the new processor. So yeah, we have some new ghosts to look at. Anyway, uh, I believe. Okay. Now that these ghosts have been there, now that these ghosts have been augmented by the crystals, capturing them is even trickier. It's best to wait until they show themselves to stun them. This massive, disgusting ghost can destroy an entire mansion before you can say "criminy." That's gross. Watch out for their flying goo, or you'll have a hard time capturing them. Anyway, oh yeah, it was a street possessor. I didn't even mention his name last episode. I, I don't think I even did that. This possessor turned into a huge icy monster and tried to escape with the dark moon piece by tunneling down through the secret mine. I thought Luigi was a goner for sure. And that might be... Oh yeah. I haven't came up with a name for this mischievous, adorable polter pup yet. He's caused us a whole mess of trouble, but I think the playful tyke just wants someone to talk to him. Or to take him in, I guess. I don't know. Oh, you cute old boy. Anyway, next time on Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, we will be getting ourselves into some double trouble. See you guys then.